Massive protests in Lucknow by the Shia protesters. Agitation was in opposition to the functioning of the Shia Waqf board. Some Maulanas, including Kalwe Javad, who is actually leading this protest, have been demanding the sacking of the present secretary of the board. They have also been, uh, they are also accused that he has been sticking to the post with the support of Azam Khan, the leader from Samajwadi Party. In fact, let's just listen in to Kalbe Javad right there. ज्यादा अत्याचार आजम खान की तरफ से बहुत ज्यादा जुल्म अखिलेश यादव की तरफ से ये लड़ाई पूरे यूपी में लड़ी जाएगी अब इनके ऐसी की तैसी की जाएगी इन्हीं ने रोजेदारों को इस तरह मारा है एक हत्या कर दी है हमारे मौलवियों के हाथ पैर तोड़े हैं इसने अखिलेश यादव आजम खान ने इसको उसकी ऊपर भगवान की तरफ सजा मिलेगी और इस जमीन पर हम लोग सजा देंगे रूल लगा हुआ है जब तक नहीं लगेगा जब तक हमें इतजाज करते रहेंगे हम अपनी गिरफ्तारी दे रहे हैं और हम यहाँ तो उस पर तक नहीं हटेंगे जब तक हमें अरेस्ट किया जाए demanding president rule also to be implemented in the state and threatening to take the uh, protest across the state pranshu is with me on the phone line pranshu let's first begin with what is the situation on ground the visuals here we see uh, certain protesters actually attacking the policemen themselves yes that's right in fact uh, the, the police uh, police also uh, suffered attacks uh, from the protesters and it was only after that that this uh, heavy lati charge or the brutal lati charge took place Uh, the sources confirming us that at least one person has died in this lati charge. He was one of the protesters. A uh, few, uh, few policemen, and also some uh, media personnel. They have been injured. Several vehicles, mostly belonging to the police, uh, police force, uh, they have been vandalized. But on the ground, uh, situation has been brought under control. But the old Lucknow remains tense because most of the protesters they are from uh, the old Lucknow area. So the heavy police force has been deployed there. Keeping in mind that these are the last days of uh, the, the holy month of Ramzan, so there was the last Friday of Ramzan month. So uh, clearly the tensions are high. Uh, the, the massive police force has been deployed, and sources also telling us that later in the evening some sort of a, a flag march sort of uh, the exercise can also be taken out in uh, the areas of Old Lucknow to restore confidence and to give out a stern message to the people that uh, the, the any sort of vandalism or uh, violent protest that would be dealt with first. Right, uh, Pranshu. Okay, uh, what is the most latest update? Though, uh, are have the protesters been brought under control? Are they spreading across the city now? What is the security situation then? The protesters have been brought under control. Uh, some of them, of course, tried to move towards this, uh, the chief minister's residence, but they failed. Uh, keeping in mind the, the heavy police deployment in that region, uh, most of the protests were curtailed in the this, uh, the area of uh, Old Lucknow, in the regions near uh, the residency and the Shahid Smarak. It's a place there which uh, which. Uh, almost identifies the border between the old Lucknow and the, the new the new city. So most of the protesters have, uh, have protesters have they have been pushed back into the uh, old city. The injured they have been shifted to the uh, Lucknow's uh, medical college where they they, they are being uh, treated at the trauma center at this point in time. So uh, on the ground the protest has died down, but the fallout of this protest and the and the, and the lati charge is that uh, tension is simmering in the parts of old Lucknow, and therefore uh, the entire city of old Lucknow has now been kept on a vigil to ensure that. Nothing untoward or nothing unfortunate happens as a fallout uh, of this protest or these clashes between the protesters and uh, the police force around and now back in Lucknow.